What's going on YouTube? Ground Chuck here in the Ground Chuck Man Cave. Uh, gonna show you a couple of pickups I've gotten the last couple of weeks. Uh, had to go away a couple of weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, uh, do uh, for work. I had to travel a little bit, and it wasn't wasn't terrible. But uh, during the travel, I was able to pick up two items. Did a little thrift thrift store in, and I got a 1974. Very, very, very nice. Evil Knievel. This is the Arctic Explorer Evil Knievel. Did not come with the backpack, the helmet, the uh, rifle, the walkie-talkie, or the snowshoes. But I got this for 20 bucks. So I was very, very happy. Very good shape. Uh, the clothes are really nice. Um, the painting on the head. I mean, there's no wearing off the the paint is still there on his head, like it wasn't like this wasn't played with much. So, Evil Knievel, I am a big Evil Knievel fan. I pick up Evil Knievel stuff every once in a while. This is the first time I ever picked up an action figure, and I am going to express action figure because my wife, when I showed her, she laughed and said, "My husband collects Barbie dolls." So I want to know what you guys think about that down below because that one that one kind of hurt that one cut deep. But uh, no, Evil Knievel is an action figure. We know his uh, prowess as a stuntman. I absolutely love Evil Knievel. Um, he just an absolute icon in my eyes. He was on my uh, Mount Rushmore of sport athletes when Dustin uh, Abraham did a did a uh, video contest. So I, I've always loved Evil Knievel. So that was item number one when I went on my little road trip. I picked up this. This was the uh, box cut. I should have broke out my ad that I have. I have a PSA 3, the ad from the Life Magazine, but this is the box cut. So I got this. It's been a little bit more than I wanted to on this, but it's a mantle, and it's from 1962. So the post-serial version, box cut. So obviously it came off the uh, serial box. But as you can see, the line's still kind of around the sides where they're supposed to. So they didn't go over the line when they were cutting. So that's awesome. It's pretty sharp. Very, very nice in my opinion. I am going to keep that up. And so kind of a PC ad for Mantle. I've been picking up more stuff than I ever thought I would of Mickey Mantle. So I'm very kind of proud of that, that fact. Um, I'm going to show some quick uh, Hall of Fame autos and explain each of them so i got uh two of two ttm al k line i had to get this one because i got this in a seven for a dollar box so the bazooka so i sent it and in seven days al k line signed this one and a ginter i love ginter i love blue ink i love blue sharpie i love ttm and so seven days two ttms uh, these are all going to be Hall of Fame autos that I show you, and I did I did a donation with that one, so that is uh, I believe he I I gave a twenty, so I did ten per, so uh, and Mr. Sandberg I believe requires five dollars per, and I did this year's Ginter with Mr. Sandberg, and the 1990 Fleer All Star Team, which I thought would just pop with the blue ink, and it does, so I thought it was very nice. Sandberg notoriously signs in blue ink, so that one kind of hides a little bit, but that's okay because it's a Ginter and I love it. So he was eight days with a donation of ten dollars total. Uh, weird, I got a Andre Dawson auto. So this is Andre Dawson number seventy-two. So this is a uh, five tools five star, numbered twenty of twenty-five. I forget the year. It was two thousand fifteen. That's right. So two thousand fifteen. So Dawson, I have not put it in a mag yet. I will be because I need a 100-point mag because that's a, uh, excuse me, a 180. I'm out of 180s. So uh, this one I purchased when Topps had it on their website. It took a while to get here, but it was the 150 years of baseball Johnny Bench Auto. It is on card. It is numbered to 99 forget if it was either 59 or 69 it's my second Johnny Bench I love Johnny Bench uh, growing up I really liked him as a catcher I love his autograph thought this was a really cool card 
and I have a Perez steel that's authentic but I wanted to add a uh, certified on-card auto so I thought that was pretty cool and I pulled the trigger on that and that was probably about two months ago so I finally got that in the mail so this is a eBay purchase for I believe about $12 shipped after shipping and tax yeah we love eBay tax don't we Richie Asburn so this is Hologrit Hall of Fame Auto number 122 for my PC so I figured I took a shot at this because it looked really good it was in blue ink I'm alright with these swell cards this is a 1990 swell I believe either 90 or 91 it is 89 so 89 swell sorry uh, but uh I'm, I'm okay with these and when I'm not spending a lot of money on a deceased Hall of Famer I'm really happy I looked at my autograph book that I have courtesy of uh, recommending uh, baseball collector recommended getting that a long time ago to me and it has served its purpose several times so I was very glad to own that one and add mr. Ashburn to the set so I am now at 72 Dawson's Mr. Ashburn makes it 122 different Hall of Fame baseball players that I have autograph. And with all the TTMs, the Bench, the Dawson, and the Ashburn, I am now at 391 different, not different, total baseball Hall of Fame autographs. So I was very, very excited for that. So those are some of my uh, pickups. Now I'm going to, I broke it down, some of my other stuff that I got, and I'll just, uh, I'll stick with some autos. I think this uh, gentleman here, I got this one through CLNC. I got it for, I think, $10. I made an offer. There's not a lot of Ted Simmons stuff out there on card auto. This is actually on wood that's embedded in the car, card for leather and lumber for Panini, uh, lumber signatures. So I, I'm i not a big Panini fan, but I did need a Simmons because I do think he has a shot someday to get into the Hall of Fame. I like how... Uh, I know they don't show logos, but they kind of hide it. He hide it. Real nice word. They hid it a little bit with the way his helmet was turned. So I'm glad to add that to my PC because who knows if he makes it, then I already have it. Uh, gentleman, another gentleman who I feel should be in the Hall of Fame just for everything he's done for the game of baseball and uh, was a scout for many years as well. But Buck O'Neill, here's an on card. It, it is not rough but I mean he was probably pretty old when he signed this uh, I forget how this is like 2004 I think but uh, he uh, passed away I believe sh within a couple years of this so uh, Buck O'Neill great great autograph great player great uh, legend of the game and uh, very very pivotal and a lot and instrumental in a lot of things so found out something about him too I did not realize that when he was uh, still around that uh, Ichiro was a big fan of Buck O'Neill and friend with what he was with him and anytime he went to Kansas City to play he met up with Buck and we just listened to the uh, stories of the game from Mr. O'Neill so that was pretty cool to find out um, a couple PC pickups I forget the name of this but this is a 1969 is it 69 it is a gas station playing card insert so that's a this is a small this isn't a tobacco hard uh, tobacco top loader uh, Pete Rose I do like that I got that for like a buck 50 on COMC I was just browsing through and I'm like I, I like it it can fit into my Pete Rose PC I don't have it I forget the actual name of it uh, but it's from 1969 and they handed them out at gas stations uh, Opeachy Rookie of Mr. Held Baines. I love the Opeachy. As you can see in France right there. Uh, really nice rookie card. So I was glad to add that of my Hall of Fame Harold Baines. He is my one of my PCs. Uh, Fleer Glossy Edgar rookie. I did not have a glossy version. So here is a nice glossy. I have started a little Justice Sheffield PC. And here's a Another one of those lumber signatures for Justice Sheffield. It is numbered to 149, I believe. So I was glad to add another auto of Justice to the collection. And lastly, 
I forget if I've shown these yet, but the Topps Living Felix and the King Felix Topps now when he left. I watched that game on television. Welled up a little bit. Uh, had a little uh, had dust in my eye or something. But uh, no, I almost shed a tear. It was pretty emotional because I watched many, many games of Felix pitch and to, of him at Safeco and T-Mobile, whatever you want to call it now. But I'll always remember him. He was a great legendary pitcher for the Mariners and a great Seattle icon. So um, sad to see that he's probably done, but wish he would have won a World Series somewhere, but he was very loyal to Seattle. So thank you for that, King Felix. So let me know what you think down below. I really am very proud of my pickups and especially my action figure of Evil Knievel. Thanks for watching, guys. Ground Chuck out under 11.